This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Well, we got little Tay doing way too much for a 16-year-old. She's trying to show some type of sex appeal and uh, doing music videos and stuff. It's like, come on, man. You know, it's like you were 12 or 11 or 12 when you got famous and now you're trying to come back and you got this marketing agency making you do certain things that aren't right. You know, it's like, this is weird. You know, it's like the whole uh, cons- thing with the dad and pretending you're not alive anymore and everything it's just it's just too much man it's like who, i don't think this is gonna work at all it's not gonna be a bad baby situation you're not old enough to do only uh, only fans yet you gotta be 18 so that's how bad baby really came up she said she was broke before then her mom took all her money dame dash reacts to irv Gotti saying dame dash is nothing i don't want to speak about him he's a nobody Okay, buddy. Um, So Dame Dash reacts and basically says that, like, he's worried about the mental health of Irv Gotti. You know, Irv Gotti's very focused on um, Dame Dash negative things. This is America New Network, if you want to go check out the the podcast. And uh, basically, Dame Dash reacts to the comments from Gotti. They were affecting him at all. Dame Dash spoke being... Hit up by news outlets after Gotti's comment, noting was a program to get him to react to another black man saying something that wasn't positive. That's a little reading too much into it. I say, Dash said, Irv is my brother, so sometimes I worry about his mental health. He and Host then provided context about Irv Gotti's relationship. Dash went on to say, What I see as him doing is celebrating, taking his artist masters and selling them. And saying, you know, this is how I make my money. And that's the furthest thing that I would ever do with any one of my artists. Dame Dash then revealed that Irv Gotti uh, not to embrace gangster lifestyle. And that Jay-Z giving Irv the Gotti name was a joke. One seeming that went too far. So basically, Dame Dash pretends that, oh, I'm not going to come at another guy, a fellow brother, but still does. You know, let's be honest. Okay, look beyond the the surface level of everything. Okay, like Dame Dash is still coming at him like he came, but he's trying to take the high road saying, oh, they're trying to bait me against my brother. No, no, no. He doesn't like you. And you don't like him. So don't call him your brother. You know, let's just be honest. Okay. Um, Next up. We got Diddy. Diddy was pulled over for playing his love album too loud. Okay. Said, thank you for your service. Then says, eat a dick to the cop. I wouldn't be talking like that, buddy. You about to be having to defend yourself about because Keefe D's going to accuse you of a lot of things and the police are going to look into it because they've been trying to find a connection between Bon Zip, Diddy, and Keefe D for years. And that's probably why they arrested Keefe D. According to WAC 100, Diddy should be shaking and pooping in his pants right now. Chandler Jones from the Raiders, very sad. He is having a breakdown <laughs> mentally. Um... He, he cried about Aaron Hernandez. He said he didn't take his own life. He accused like the owner of putting him with a guy who's uh, took advantage of his goddaughter. I, I, you know, I hope Chandler uh, gets the help that he needs. He's obviously having a mental breakdown. The Raiders have released him, which is sad. He's had a turbulent week, they say, since Labor Day weekend. And was placed on, uh, he, he's been away since Labor Day weekend and placed on the NFL list. On September 20th, he was arrested and allegedly violating um, some precautions in place. Uh, Boosie responds to Tasha K. Tasha K accused him of, you know, 
being scared of his gun charge and trying to appease to the vice president saying, I'll, I'll do whatever you want for gun violence and da, 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 da. Also, she's accused him of like not doing right by his daughter and the way he handled that whole situation was trash. I don't blame her. Uh, Boosie thinks it's funny. He says it's comedy and I'll still watch her. That's a mature response. Um, we already know what's going on with Keefy D and Tupac. Uh, I'll keep you up to date on that. Fanny Willis defending the right to use rap lyrics in the Young Thug case. She says you do the crime, you do the time. Erica Mena says, so Mona Scott, you're saying that fake Olivia Post, Olivia Pope Post wasn't you handling anything, just you desperately trying to save face just like the network is. Got it. Yeah. I don't know. And then Blueface's mom says, I was only kidding about responding to someone talking on my live. My son is with the baby mom from the ninth grade. No disrespect to Megan the Stallion, who I love, or my son and my and baby mama have a fabulous Friday, everyone. Okay. She said that like she wanted her son to like smash Meg the Stallion and have a baby. Um, then we got Rico Reckless saying the FBG Ducks cousin Ruga tried to backdoor him. He said, this is my last post about these lame guys. This is why it took so long to get up there. He needed help. I was by myself and that guy drove me there. Guys thought they was finna do what? They was gonna die. This, this is why I kept charging. L.O. What? Before I got there, I don't know what's going on, man. But Adam does react to this. Let me play this. Adam 22 kind of like pour some <laughs> pour some gasoline on the situation. Let me see what he says. Hold on one sec. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I think I saved it. If I didn't, it's under one of these things. Adam22 pulls out Ruga for not catching the fate with Rico Reckless. Real serious and sure and respectful. No hard feelings to anybody involved. But Ruga, give Rico Reckless his fate. You had my man waiting around on a basketball court for like six hours yesterday because you didn't want to show up. It's all bad. This is Chicago history that could potentially be taking place right now. And you want to play games with my man, Reckless. Yo, Adam, stop, man. <laughs> Adam's got to stop putting himself in the middle of that stuff because these guys are crazy. Ruga was mad at Adam. Remember, he didn't like Adam asking certain questions. It's like, come on, bro. If you want to do interviews, you're going to be asked whatever you want. They, they want to ask you, you know? Otherwise, why would they have you on the platform? Um, and lastly, we got... Dolph's cousin. Uh, let's see, sorry. Dolph's cousin Jay Fizzle dissed Yo Gotti in his new song, Free Straight Drop, because he wants to take out Straight Drop himself. And then we got Khaled being the most annoying person in the world. It's Shador way. You know what I'm Throw up your Shador. Shador way. Shador. Shador way. What the thing Khaled obviously got this watch for free. And Rumble says $25 million. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Neon's manager is saying that uh, Rumble's trying to give him $25 million to leave kick. And they might have taken it. I don't believe that, but that's <laughs> that's crazy. If Fousey was only going to get $15 million and this guy's getting 25, Fousey deserves $150 million. He's way more interested. I'd rather see the train wreck than Neon. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that's about it, man. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Peace.